Ages pass, distorting self-delusion into faith, with few obtaining the revelations they so desperately seek. In a conflict between the divine, are mortals mere pawns? Whether the flesh of gods or death itself, all will be consumed. For she must feed. Forgive me, and steer this weapon of deliverance to a worthier servant than I. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's just brutal. You gotta love a company that lets it go full on brutal, eh? Law, the latest receiver of his grace. Great potential dwells within you, doubtless, for you to be chosen thusly. And so does Aureus' wisdom guide my hand in the bestowment of this subsequent boon. Your flesh has been made sacrosanct with the mark of the Dark Crusaders. Prove yourself worthy of this gift. Seek me in the bowels of the bridge. Our work is of the greatest import. I decided I might go through and record on the PS5 because, uh, wow, well, it's pretty obvious my computer's fucked. <laughs> and I was sitting here playing this game, I was having a lot of fun with this class, eh? Uh, I can't remember the name of the class now, it's Parsiton, I think, or par Parsiton, well, however it's said. Uh, you know, it's sword and board, but in this case, sword and flail. It was the only one that really, you know, that I liked. Especially in these um, Souls-like games, I really like the uh, the old sword and board type, type builds. But um, anyway, so I decided to go through and record this and uh, see how it goes. I just did the, um, the gameplay. I was sort of talking to myself while I was playing. This is cool, have a look at this. <laughs> Statue. <laughs> That's cool, eh? This is details that you see in this game. Going between the normal world and the umbral world is so fucking good, eh? Anyway, I went through and I just recorded it. I tried recording it with um with the voice on, but because my computer setup is so well, um, I wouldn't say elaborate. I'd say cheap. <laughs> 
<laughs> I had to make do with what I could find, you know, and uh, and learn from that, just to get my audio good and everything else. But uh, it's not so simple on a PlayStation. Although I think that I can actually hook up my mic to this, but that's not really going to make a difference. Because that mic is so bloody sensitive that I have to actually run another program so that you don't hear the aircon when I record. I'm hoping that you don't hear the aircon. It's too hot here in Australia at the moment um, for me to not have the aircon on. But, um, you know, it's not progress on the computer. I, uh, was looking at one. It's a good one. A bloody good one. And um, I got to a point where I thought, you know, I'm not too sure. Um, you know, I, I, <laughs> you know, let's go for a bit of background that I've never really talked about. So editing on my old computer, um, for a lot of times they left a very sour taste in my mouth. Um, now, I know, obviously, because my computer was not the best, that, um, that editing was going to be hard. And it was. Like, um, just trying to load videos, trying to load audio for the videos. You know, just so you can see the wavy bar down the bottom. Uh, it could take up to 10, 15, 20 minutes for that audio to actually process so I could see it. And not to mention, um, the video itself. It's so like as you go through and you go through on the screen, um, the video won't show properly. And so I'm always like, I have to micro go through and do the editing. But one thing I noticed when I was playing around with the PS5, so I've been playing around now for a couple of days, just mucking around with it. I can obviously see the difference in power. This PS5, it shits on my computer. <laughs> Holy Jesus. Especially when it comes to editing, it just loads everything, you know, so bloody quick. Oh, I couldn't believe it. So, um, now that I said that, and um, before I actually got on the PlayStation, I was very hesitant to get it because the computer that I want um, is going to last for a very long time, obviously. It's top of the line. Now, I can go, mid, I can go for mid-range, but then I end up in the same situation in a couple of years again, you know. And, and I enjoy doing the video editing, I really did at the start, because it was simple. But once you started really getting the nitty gritty of trying to make a better video all around, and, and on, on top of that, me being deaf, it doesn't help with the audio, that's why I always try to get some help from people for, uh, for the audio, but that never really happens. I mean, some say it's, it's all good and everything else, but um, it's very, very hard for me to tell. But I think I nailed it down pretty well. Because um, it's a lot of study. I've had to study a lot and go off the wave, off the waveform of the audio, mostly and numbers for me, because I can't just simply listen and tell the difference. But um, I'm going off on a tangent here. <laughs> anyway, I was having this computer, and I, and, 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 and I get a loan for the computer. That's that's no no doubt because I don't have a lot of loans except for my own loan. That's it. And uh, I get it. Five year loan, forty bucks a week, so one hundred and sixty dollars a month. So it's not, it's not small. But I got to a point there where I thought, you know what? Maybe I don't. Maybe I wait a little bit. Um, and on top of that, I didn't want my channel to just die off. I wanted to try and keep creating uh, stuff, even though it's just gameplay video. Um, I want to do stuff. But like I was saying, my computer was so heavily restricting me um, to the point where I, when I tried to do stuff, it didn't turn out too well. Like, you know, um, you, you can definitely tell when you fuck up when um, when people barely watch a minute into your video. You know, people. I appreciate the people that like the videos, but even they don't even watch the videos all the way through. You know, so it's kind of a letdown. So. Um, I think I'm pretty resolved now after playing around with the PS5's editor just the last couple of days and seeing just how amazing it is to and fun like it's just reinvigorated my my interest in editing um, 
Hell, this is the first time I'm overlaying audio. I never do this. I always record everything in game while I'm playing. Because um, it's just simpler. <laughs> I don't have to redo shit. And um, it's pretty much tightened my resolve, you know? So I'm going to be looking into that. Uh, probably applying for the loan on online. Uh, going to see my local computer company that I've been seeing for years. Um, if you're in Australia, they're called Digital Matrix. They're a really, really good company. I've always dealt with them for an extremely long time. And, um, yeah, so I, I don't know, maybe another month's time I should be able to get back to Stalker stuff. Maybe before then I might be able to finish this playthrough on the PS5, considering how quick and easy it is to get the video going. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention too, this game is not running in quality mode. I'm only running this game in performance mode at the moment because uh, uh, on my old computer seeing the difference between um, oops, sorry, how much resources everything takes when you're recording and then playing the game at the same time you get to find on my old computer was a fine like line you know what I mean like really fine line between and it, it could have also contributed to my computer's demise because um, I was really pushing things to that to that line, you know, to get the best out of it that, that I possibly could. At least that's what my mate reckons. He reckons I was really pushing things too far on an old system. Um, I hope this audio comes through all right. I'm talking to the controller at the moment. Apparently, the mic sounds all right to me, and it seems to be cutting out the aircon and everything else. But like I said, I can't tell. So, you yeah, know, if you want to let me know in the comments, I appreciate it. But this dude, I make a lot of stuff up with my blocks here. I actually went through with that character for the video that I released the other day. I was actually only ever single wielding <laughs> the mace that I had. I completely forgot you could stance change. Like, it's, I played nearly every Souls game and, and I forget this one, you can fucking. Uh, double hand the weapon. And with this game, I noticed too when you block, yeah, sure, you take damage, but you regain it like a Bloodborne sort of thing. And here he comes again, big boy. This guy, I've seen him being defeated by, I uh, can't remember the name, but they managed to beat the shit out of him. Took him a long bloody time. But, <laughs> uh, I, I, ain't, I ain't got the skill for that shit. Give me I definitely that don't have land. the skill. No, fuck off. I'm getting the land. <laughs> ah, he goes up, he does his big flame thing after he roars. Here he goes. Come on then. Perfect dodge. No, it wasn't. <laughs> This should be good. Oh, there we go. Good dodge. I think eventually I just leave the door. Alright. Look at that. Oh, shit. I didn't fuck up. Ah, I fucked up there, though. <laughs> Fine. Have it. I don't want it. <laughs> Comes up, roll credits, game end. <laughs> I can't remember the original Lords of the Fallen. I, I gotta say something too. This video that was just happened right there, I think it was cut. I think there was something more to that video. I really do. Because uh, it's choppy as fuck. On the PS5 I've noticed that the, the video all the, the, the cinematic sequences are not great. They're pretty bad. Uh, I've watched a couple of other creators um, playing it on their PCs and they seem to be a lot better. But you know, if they got really huge, powerful systems, they just power through it, you know? This guy, he's got a shield on him, so you gotta pull out the lamp and press uh, the guitar one to uh, drain the soul out of the little thing that makes this guy more. He's down. 
So I, I have played a fair bit of this. I've been through the very first area after the first boss in this area uh, before I decided to start playing. Uh, sorry, before I decided to start recording. Uh, so I know a fair bit already, like the land moves things in the Umbral Realm. You move this uh, platform from one end to the other. There's many other sort of mechanics uh, you can use as well. And then when you go up to these, these are like the bonfires, the vestiges. And then if you rest, you'll go front, back from Umbral, the Umbral Realm back to the normal realm. I think I find out here that I'm just shy of um, leveling up a stat. Yeah, I think it was like 14 points or 20 points I short. always wondered if there were others. You're probably thinking that lamp's just a tool to be used as you see fit. Take it lightly, and you'll find it's the other way around. Mark my words. I don't know who you are, and I don't care. But since it seems a deer has you marked, making you a bigger threat to the Rogar serves us both. I've defied the wills of gods and kings. If you know any kind of freedom, You'll do the same. So this dude... I can't remember the original too well. I could just be spitball. And I haven't watched a lot of people play the game all the way through. So I don't know fully the entire story. But I'm wondering if that guy is like the original dude from the original game. I don't know. I mean, Adir is supposed to be the bad dude, so I'm marked with, you know, the uh, story's a little bit confusing. Want to learn a lot more, that's for sure. Here it seems the sentinels are cowards, and they're running away. get a glimpse into the past with those certain things. As far as I know too with um, certain bosses you can also get their items from doing that as well. Here I'm doing a critical strike and you can backstab them if you get behind them. Hit them with a heavy attack. The good thing about the flail is this move. It's L1 and R2. And you do like a little flip and you can knock them up. And then if you do a heavy attack at a certain time, you can knock them down. <laughs> it looks funny. I don't actually do it, I don't think, but um, I will eventually. It's, it's, it's hilarious. And this thing. Wait. You bastard. Gets in a free poke. <laughs> I end up using the wrong here, the wrong item. I use the stamina item. Increases your regen, increases your overall stamina. It's fucking brutal, eh? It just looks and feels brutal, this game. So did the first one. I think the first one was brutal as well, just heavy. Just every hit. It's just nasty. Here comes the other two fucking fools. Dragging their sorry asses over him. And that's a perfect block. Perfect block. Just minor enemies will knock them on their ass. Here I'm looking out for the there's mages and there's a second mage somewhere. Oh there he is. Yep. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Yeah. He's got that stupid immortality thing. Even though I've ran through it a few times now, he's still forgetting. Hey, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, this guy, this guy, this guy's nasty. Yeah, I think I'll go and deal with the bloody maze up top first before I tackle him. Last thing you need is some range bastard whacking the shit out of you. This dude you know, reminds me of the bloody, you know, big ass Knights and Dark Souls 1 when you're in the first area. Bloodborne, you come across those um, big hooded beasts. Yeah, this is one of those guys. Just nasty. He's got everything. He's got that flame, like a tornado spin the wind move. He does this little ability and then he starts. Um, usually he just turns around and he starts peppering you with bloody range attacks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I thought he had actually had me locked in. That. Close. Holy shit, that was close. This what I'm. This what's so good about the game? It's not pulling no fucking punches, eh? It's just wicked. I played Lies of P, and um, you know, as much as I love Bloodborne, uh, Lies of P kind of doesn't really sit too well with me. And this guy. <laughs> Where did he come from? <laughs> as if I haven't got enough fucking trouble as it is now. This dude. This is an epic fight, but. And that damage, that white damage, it sort of means I'm doing just basic damage. Well, sorry, not basic, like normal damage. If it's grayed out, it means that it's really light damage, like you're, you're underpowered. Something shocking. Yeah, I've run out of healing items, so I had to use some of those stones for healing. Ranged attack, eh? I wonder if that's like a fire spell or a pyromancy spell. I mean, obviously he's on fire, but I mean, like, whether or not you're able to get that ability yourself. I do have a pyromancer there I considered playing, and it was actually a fair bit of fun, but um, no, I wanted to stick with my uh, partner or whatever his, whatever his name is. There we go. Finally. He's down. Bitch is down. Now if I go off to the right here, there are some secrets there. Well, sort of secrets. Grab this first. I think this gave me two armor pieces. Yeah, pilgrim garb, pilgrim skirt. Useless, but worth um worth. Uh, what is? It? I think it's vestige. Is it vestige in this game? Souls, anyway. Probably simpler just to call it that. I don't remember what this is. Ah, the shield. Yep. My shield's better. And here, we'll have a lamp. You can see a bridge. You can actually just walk across without having to go into the umbral plane. The 
the one thing that I noticed too with a crossbow when you're using it, if you do end up playing that, is um, make sure your, your crossbow is always loaded. And even after combat, if you know you've used one or one bolt or something, make sure it's loaded. <laughs> I've had a feel that was a good one. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I know. When I was playing, I, I whip out the crossbow and I go, right, ready to shoot, bang, and he starts reloading. I'm thinking, ah, oh, crap, dead. <laughs> I don't know what it would be like with the bow though. I was actually really considering also playing like the, the ranger as well. It took me a little bit at first to realise what um yes, they nearly killed me here. It took me a little bit to realise on the on the top left there. You got the health, you got the stamina and then that little thing down below. And I realised that was the ammunition. You can increase that by increasing your uh, endurance and your vigour, I believe it is. Let's get fucking ham. <laughs> I shouldn't have, um, well, it was it ended up here being okay but with such low health. I decided to go and knock this guy out too. <laughs> Realise I didn't do quite enough damage in the fucking critical. And the game is just fluid, you know? It's fluid, feels good. Feels heavy, feels meaty. Here we are, another vestige. Oh yeah, I'm still sh oh, no, no, I'm not sure. Here I decided to go with Endurance and Vitality. Any Souls game, it's always wise to get your Vitality up as high as possible. Well, at least get to try and get to the soft cap. Down there is um, another little area full of items. And over there has also got items as well. I think that hanging man with the with the gold sort of thing on him, I think he's got a ring. That one uh, increases endurance and endurance um, well, stamina. Increase your stamina and your regeneration. Sometimes the camera is a little bit bloody off putting too. It seems to rub up against the against the terrain. It gets knocked all uh, gets knocked all over the place. These little eggs when you go into the umbral plane, if you can destroy them quickly, just so they don't spawn those guys. A particular enemy later on that comes along that spawns them. Uh, it's a pretty brutal enemy too. I don't think you'll see it in this one, but um, you, you'll know when you see it. It takes a fucking pounding. That son of a bitch. Sake. Gonna try and get at it quickly before they transform. Then they just basically get full health. Just doing <laughs> all that damage. What was this? Ah, oh, the umbral eye of the betrayed. Yep. This one's confusing. They're sitting there choking, pleading for help. Obviously, he's either just been stabbed or dying. But if he's choking, I don't know. A lot of arms. Kinda weird. <laughs> Reminds me of Elden Ring and that dude at the start of Elden Ring. He's got all that bloody body parts attached to him and shit. Can't remember his name now. Oh yeah, here. Yeah. And then once I've done that, I hightail it. <laughs> nope. Because when you die in Umbral Plane, that's it. You're out. Whereas if you're in the normal realm, you get one extra life 
by turning into the um umbral plane. And then you'll get like half your health. And then the other half can be restored by attacking enemies. Kind of like when you're blocking, you get that little bit of um, less health, but you can regain it. I love that crossbow. You see there? Even if you don't successfully block, you still you still have a good chance of regaining your energies, provided you don't get hit uh, uh, without blocking. You know what I mean? Down here, I have to go into the umbral plane. Equip the ring. And these things will pop. I realise it too when I just look it down here. Thinking, ah oh, shit, they're all going to pop. I could run through, but then I've got a bloody army right behind me. Chasing after me. That's the good thing about the flail. That prior video, I actually had the uh, mace. Um, and the mace, uh, from when I was playing, it doesn't really have good AoE attack. So I decided I wanted to play again and um, start again for the video, obviously. Makes sense. And um, this time I'm going to upgrade the flyer. Because when you have when you dual wield it, you get a good single target. And when you um, single handed, as you see here, you just whack everything. And a good little tip too. Don't um, don't target them. Just free target. You might get hit, sure. They don't do that that much damage. You can also use an item to reduce the damage even further. But there's no point in using it on those guys. Save them for these like fairy creatures you gotta fight later on. It's cool, eh? Just seeing everything as normal, and then you go to the Umbral Plane, and there's just all this just evil shit everywhere. Pilgrim Hood, Pilgrim Bandages. And those little eyeball things on the right there, you can actually uh, soul drain them uh, when you use your lantern in a specific way. I don't think I did it in this episode, but um, I probably will in the second episode. Oh, here. This is where I do it. See, so, you, know, you can drag their soul out and push them off the edge. This here was not that successful, but it still did pretty well. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> this little bastard comes down for a bit of a run, too. <laughs> that actually freaked me out when I was playing. I think next episode I'm going to try uh, recording and talking at the same time. See what it's like if this ends up being okay. Not too sure yet. So compared to what I'm used to on my PC, my voice just sounds... Uh, like I'm in a room. You know what I mean? As weird as that sounds. Whereas with my setup on the PC, it's set up to a point where it doesn't sound like I'm in a room at all. Get this guy. Get your little cheap shot in, you son of a bitch. Piss on you. Yeah. And here. I do a little bit of a, well, I'd accidentally do that, but even with just land now, you can still soul drain these things, which is great. But you need three of them, I think, to fully charge. And I don't find any more, just that one. It is handy to have them. And here I, I think I remember that I don't need to do anything else, I've got to go up the ladder now. Oh, 
Holy Ward. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all mates back again. This is another little cool feature. You carry the lamp long That's enough and you soon. see history repeat over and over. If you don't want to keep retreading the same ground yourself, should you fall, make use of this. Yeah, those things, vestige seeds. I've given you more umbral guidance than I ever had. From now on, find your own way and stay out of mine. I've okay. given you from now on. I don't know, I'm just thinking to myself whether or not he's the like the original dude. Am I actually too sure how far apart these the two games are? As in time wise. So you can summon these little um like portable bloody um hearthstones. Well not hearthstones, what am I talking about? Bonfires. So this build is going to be a balanced build. So I haven't seen all the weapons yet. Obviously not magic side, but mostly um, just the you know, strength and agility weapons. There might be a really cool, another cool flail, I don't know. That I might come across. I, I Actually, no, I do know that I come across one. But it's not that great. It's not as good as this one. Here we go. This bitch is oh, wicked. Holy Aureus, by your radiance, grant me the strength to continue to endure these dark days, to lay bare the path to salvation for my wayward brothers and sisters, so we may walk it together. And to strike down all those who would see our will defied. Even as our suffering continued, I honored my pledge of patience to the Exactor. And yet you now appear before me, a stranger. Bearing what was not yours to receive. A betrayal made flesh. And one I cannot brook. So here, I did die quite a few times in this fight, and this is my successful run. Um, the only reason why I did that is I noticed that uh, while I was recording this, originally, um, PlayStation 5 only lets you record up to about 60 minutes. That's it, and then it comes up with a warning when it, it just stops. So I thought to myself, I'm not too sure whether or not the share factory is going to allow me to, um, you know, combine the videos past an hour. I don't know. Um, like I said, I've only just started using it, so I'm not overly sure. But this this boss is mostly about blocking, especially these attacks, just to get that poise down, and then dodging all the other bullshit she throws out. Cause she she's like um, that that one boss, that boss that tests you. Uh, so that you learn the mechanics and learn, you know, put to practice what you've learned essentially. And blocking is a major part. It's just, unlike you know Dark Souls, where you you worry about blocking because you permanently lose health. Like you're seeing in this game here, you don't permanently lose your health. You can regain it with proper skill. And this here, I should have pulled out the crossbow, but I didn't. I didn't really think about it at first. Here, don't try to block that. That's just free damage she gets on you. Just dodge that. I forget all about that. Just that. Yeah, dodge them. Get out of the way. Yeah, I tried to pull out the crossbow. I didn't realise I still got the lantern equipped. <laughs> Could have gotten off two shots there. So even if you don't get a perfect block, it's not the end of the world. You can regain the health. But that is just, I think everything about this game is just, it's damn near perfect, for just gameplay wise anyway. Even though the very first, I was cursing this bitch like you wouldn't believe. But uh, once you start clicking, the game starts coming together, you know. Okay. Another repost. 
critical, whatever people tend to call it these days. Like right there, that was a waste when I put the damage. Lost all our health. Now this being a mechanic, I don't think you're ever going to get a shield that just fully mitigates damage. Um, I think it's very dependent on your armor too. Here she'll summon two other angels. Yeah, and I go and line myself up so I don't get hit by them. And here, that's when you get some three shots in with the bow, of the crossbow. But I tell you what, as much as I curse this bitch, I actually really like this fight. That ability there, that can one shot you. And that, that was a grab. She goes again, and I'm thinking, oh shit, oh shit, can I make it? <laughs> I ain't not making it. It's been a while since I've played Elden Ring, so taking me a little bit to get back into the old souls vibe again. I think at some point here she goes eight shit. She starts um, not having a break because if you notice between her attacks she gets to a point at the end of her at the end of her attacks where she just takes it very slowly to recover. Gives you time to hit uh, and, and give her one more. But I think once you get her to a certain point of low health, she she won't do that anymore. I think that's around about here. Where she doesn't even give you a break anymore. It's like full on fucking survival mode for her. I forget about it, see? I go for the charge attack and she goes, yep, yeah, nah. Sorry. Here, just so you know, if she's doing those angels, make sure you get out of the way, because she ain't fully dead. Such a cool fight. And this is wicked too. Although I gotta say, like I said, the video, it just looks off to me. Look at that, it looks way off. I don't, you, you know what I mean? Like, maybe you should check the patch notes. The cinematics just don't seem right. Anyway. Thanks for watching, mates. I'll see you next time, mate.